when I saw this, I did not intend to buy anything in Gucci. Nope. I went into Gucci because Gucci is one of Bestie's favourite stores and I went into Gucci thinking, oh, I'm not buying anything here. I was quite smug. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am bringing you part two of my Paris haul unboxings, the luxury shopping I did while I was in Paris. If you've watched part one, you will already have seen me unbox and show you what I picked up and bought from Chanel and from Louis Vuitton and also some diamonds from my deal, which I have been absolutely loving. Today we are going to do part two and I'm going to show you what I picked up from Hermes. <laughs> Gucci. And Dior. I loved Dior. The Dior store, the whole experience, you've maybe watched the vlog of the Dior tour and the cafe was fabulous but I was also loving Gucci what they had and uh, anyway I'm going to get into it and show you everything that I've picked up and you can let me know what you think in the comment box. I hope you like these things as much as I did but before I get into that let's turn to today's sponsor of today's video and that is Lily Silk which I am wearing yet again. If you watch my channel and if you have been on my Instagram there are certain Lily Silk pieces that they gifted me a long time ago and we did a collaboration with that you're probably sick seeing me wearing. One of them is an oatmeal cat cashmere jumper which I have worn to death but whenever I take on collaborations that is the only type of collaboration I want to do. I only want to work with brands that there are things that I actually am going to love and actually wear. Since I have worked with Lily Silk I have been approached by a number of silk companies but not all silk is created equal and since I found Lily Silk I have turned down all of the rest of those companies and I haven't taken on any of the other collabs because I'm really happy with the products that Lily Silk supply me with. They are the highest quality silk. They come from mulberry trees. I also like how they work with zero waste and zero reduction. They have teamed up with a company who are a recycling company. The way they source their silk, what they use, what they take it from is done in a way to create as much of a zero waste product as possible and that is important and I think whenever there are alternatives that maybe just aren't as sustainable why would I not choose the one that is sustainable? And I suppose the bottom line is I love their clothes. The cashmere jumper I am talking about you will have seen me wear so much. I know today we're in spring, I'm not wearing cashmere today, thank goodness. But that particular cashmere jumper that I have worn, I have got so, so much wear out of it. And one of the things I really love about Lily Silk's cashmere is it is so cost effective. It is really affordable. It is not ridiculously priced like some cashmere pieces and I have worn it to death. I have worn it so, so much. I love the look of it. I don't think I would be able now to buy much more expensive cashmere whenever I really enjoy the product that they have allowed me to try and I love it. But we're not talking about cashmere today unless you're in the southern hemisphere going into winter. We are going into spring and oh, I love this. One of the things I love about silk is the feel of it. It is just feels so luxurious. It is one of those little luxuries that you can wear every day. It feels great against your we skin. We all know there are huge benefits from wearing silk. It is breathable, it's good for your skin. It is just a really beautiful, luxurious fabric to wear. I have on me today, and I will put in some shots where you can see this better. This is one of their latest oversized shirts and I love it. If you know my aesthetic, I am generally not the most formal person unless I am going to work. One of the things I love about this is if I needed to wear it to work, I could just professional this up, put a jacket on, put a suit on, it would dress right up and it would fit into the work environment without difficulty. But I'm loving that I can wear it in my normal everyday lifestyle and that was the key to the pieces I'd pre previously chosen from Lily Silk. They're things I wear every day, they're things I actually wear. This is oversized, which I love. It takes on the vibe of a man's shirt, which I love. I love it untucked. Love how it is just so soft. I love how it hangs. And one of the things I <laughs> have been loving about this this time is we all know that I've been on a bit of a weight loss journey and then a weight putting on journey and I'm back on to the point where I've put a little bit on. And one of the things I really liked about wearing these silk products and I have another one I'm going to show you is it just flows over my body. So the parts that I would quite like to hide and I'm maybe not just as happy with myself right now, the silk glides and it flows and it doesn't it just it works with any body shape so if you're like me and there's parts you're maybe just not too happy with at the minute or there's parts that you know mm, some clothes just don't work for I would really recommend trying out this silk because it just I have felt very 
flattering in it. I have felt that it looks really well. My idea for wearing this shirt is I have it on with baggy denim today and I'm going to show you, but I also have a dream in my head of wearing this with cutoffs, cut off denim shorts in the sun in summer and it's just, it's so breathable, it's so light, it's really going to work with that but I just really like that type of look that you can put together. The dress that I'm going to show you, I am loving wearing as in a dress with a belt. I like it with a belt to pull it in a bit. Over shorts as well as wearing it as a dress so it's versatile and that's why I have picked the two pieces that I have to show you. Lily Silk have changed up their packaging. It now comes like this. This did hold in it the silk pillowcase which they also very kindly gifted me which I'm using because as we know I am post 40 now and there's more lines there than I care to think about. So I'm all about trying a silk pillowcase. If this, if there is a way that sleeping on this is going to help my skin not get any worse with the lines and stay a bit smoother, <laughs> I am on it. Editing me and puppies. What I forgot to also tell you is that I now have a silk pillowcase for children, which I am, Bradley, which I'm definitely going to try out because my youngest gets really bad eczema. So anything that can help his skin and be better for his skin, I am definitely willing to try. This is how it now comes. They have changed up their packaging for recycling. They're working, as I said, with that company, the recycling company to produce zero waste. And I think that is something very admirable that they're doing as a company. I absolutely love it. They obviously have shipped around the world. This arrived to me very, very quickly. I've talked about Lily Silk before. I really enjoy it. I hope to work with Lily Silk again in the future because I really like the clothes and that's why I have no difficulty sharing them with you today as opposed to the other silk companies that I have with. not. And I just think for the value, for the cost of what they produce, they are a really, really good company. I really like their quality of their products and I am no problem sharing them with you today. Now, with that being said and done, let's get into the unboxings. <laughs> what will we start with? Well, we start with Gucci. This is the first one that I have and it's from Gucci. Is everybody else loving this new Gucci packaging? I know it's been around for a while now, but I really just quite love it. I love the colour of it. I love how mm, fancy it feels. And this, mm, when I saw this, I did not intend to buy anything in Gucci. Nope. I went into Gucci because Gucci is one of Bestie's favourite stores and I went into Gucci thinking oh I'm not buying anything here I was quite smug <laughs> I'm going to keep my money he can do all of the shopping and then I seen this it is clothing and I just think it's fab it's obviously really nicely packaged which I'm just ripping open but forgive me for that and it's this you may have seen this in the vlog if you've watched the vlog now this is Actually, this is kind of in keeping with what I've just been talking to you about, Lily Silk. This shirt from Lily Silk is oversized. It's a vibe. It's a look to wear them oversized at the minute, and I'm loving it. This is also oversized. I bought this in the men's department. It is actually an extra large, I think, in the men's department. Now, I know I've put a bit of weight on, but I'm not an extra large in the men's department. But to wear this the way I wanted to wear it, oversized, be a vibe by its own. I've tried it on and I wore it. It's almost like a slouchy jacket wearing it oversized or with a belt around it, just pulls it in a bit, even over a shirt like this with a belt around it. Can't wait to style this up. I have so many ideas as to how I'm gonna wear this. Now, as I say about a lot of the things that I buy, this won't be for everybody because it's not discreet and it's quite in your face, it's quite bright, it has Gucci printed across the back of it, it has horses, it has trumpets, it has flowers, I just love it. You can see why I'm grinning like an idiot because this is made for me. This, I just, as soon as I put this on, as soon as I saw it, there was no way this was staying in Gucci and I am excited to show you wearing that in the future. Now let's go to Dior. This bag is the Dior bag that comes from the 30 Montaigne store and if you watched the vlog, you'll have seen the tour and the vlog of the 30 Montaigne store and the Dior cafe in it, it does have, you can see the imprint of the store on the front and it has the number 30 here, which is their address and it has this special little star that comes whenever you show in the 30 Montaigne flagship store. That was an experience in itself. If you haven't watched that vlog and you're in any way interested in Dior, I would go and check it out because it really was a fabulous, fabulous experience. Now, look at the box and look how pretty she is. 
This box is going on my shelf. It has the beautiful red, the print that Dior is known for, which has the tigers on it. I just love it. And look at this bow. I have to say that I agree with most other people on YouTube that Dior is very hard to beat when it comes to their luxury packaging. I think they just set the banner or set the mark for people to try. Oh my goodness me. The sales assistant, whenever we were shopping, was aware that we would be traveling home and she has done such a good job at packing this to keep it safe, which I'm very grateful for, given that we did get on a plane. No, it's in this little one. If you watched my last unboxings from Paris, whenever Bestie got the Hermes horse's head and I threw it on the floor. <laughs> Try not to do that because this would be really rather breakable. Let's show you what is in here. We have finally got to it. It is got Dior sticker on the paperwork. I'm sorry there's so much packaging but I'm not really sorry because it kept it safe on the plane. <gasps> there she is. Now you can see my light bouncing back off this. This is a little glass ball. I'm going to try and take some other shots to add in so as you can actually see what this looks like. This is a little glass ball. What you're seeing is the ring light bouncing off it and there is a heart in the middle. The reason I bought this is I love hearts. I have hearts things around my dressing room, my office, my bedroom. I am getting shelves built into the office at the minute and this is gonna sit on them, this little blown glass ball with the heart in the middle. And when I look at this, I am gonna remember the Paris trip, which was absolutely a highlight. It was fabulous, it was wonderful. And this is gonna be my reminder, my visual reminder when I look at this, I'm going to see the Paris trip. And that is really why that came home with me. It's, it's, it's just beautiful. The next thing that came home from Dior is in here with the star swinging widely, but why not? And it is more ready to wear. I don't know what came over me this trip because for someone who needs to lose weight, bought a lot of ready to wear. But let's not worry about that. This I fell in love with. If you have seen the latest Dior collection, it is bright, it is vibrant, it is pink, it is yellow, it is in your face and I love it. I'm gonna add in a little bit of footage of a Delight Dior Delight bag, uh, which is very similar to Lady Dior. I was so tempted to buy this bag. I loved the colors of it. I tried it on a number of times and I was so, so tempted. The only reason I didn't, I'm gonna be honest, is I don't think I would use it all that much. I think it, for me, it would be a bit like this Artie Capucine's the same type of bag. And it's a lot of money for something I'm not gonna wear that much, but I loved the print of it so much. <laughs> so I didn't buy the bag, but I bought, bought the shirt. And again, I didn't actually realize, back to this oversized shirt, back to that oversized cardigan, this is also an oversized shirt. Look at that print, look at the tiger on it. And I will put on some footage of me trying this on in Dior. I got this in a size, I don't even know what I got this in a size. I got this in a size 42 because I wanted it to be big and boxy. I wanted to be able to wear it as big and boxy with jeans and I actually had it on with white jeans today, I was trying it on, but I also wanted the option to open it and wear it as a shirt over um, like a white maybe camisole and another pair of denim cutoffs because I am convinced I'm having the summer of my life and, <laughs> or jeans, but anyway. I just loved it. I thought this print was absolutely fabulous. I thought this was me. I tried it on and I felt good in it. I didn't feel like it was skimpy. I didn't feel like I was too big for it. And I just, yeah, had to bring it home. Okay, the last thing I have to share with you today is from our Hermes. And alas, no, there is no Hermes bag to show you. I wish there was. I wish there was a Mini Kelly or a Birkin 25 or a Constance 18 since I've seen Lorna Styles one. I really, really like those. But we did try, all seven of us tried all three nights and none of us got an appointment. So there were no appointments to be had for us. So there was no bag that came home. This I actually picked up when I was last in Dublin on the Dublin vlog, but I thought I would show it um, with you together rather than having an individual video. And it's something from Hermes that I absolutely love and something that I would like to add in more colors. And, if I get into the box and show you, it is basically what I have on, cause I love this. And I got it in the pink color. Now I am not fabulous with Dior colors, not Dior, Dior in the brain, Hermes. I am not fabulous with Hermes colors. I think it might be Rose Azalee, but if I'm not, if I'm not right, I'm sure somebody can correct me. 
So it is the CDC 24 in the smaller size. It's exactly the same as this one. This is the black with the rose gold. And I actually think that's the pink with the rose gold, although the sticker is still on it, so it's not overly clear. I take a T3 in this, which is the larger size. I wear it generally. You can see that it's in the middle in this one. I think it toughens up an outfit like the likes of it with this beautiful silk shirt. I like the edginess of that beside it. And that's why I went to get one in a summery color, in a pink color. To be honest, I would have taken this in a pinky color, a purpley color, an orangey color or a yellow color, just any bright summery color to wear in with summer clothes, but to add a bit of an edge because I really, really love these. These are something from Hermes that I would not rule out more of. <laughs> You know, because I'm nuts in more colours because I just I just really like them and I like what they add. I also like the Click H bracelet. You've seen those on me a lot of times as well. So that is what I brought home from Hermes. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being here. I will have the Lily Silk codes and the website linked in the description box. I will also have my discount code for you linked in the description box. So if there's anything that you are interested in checking out from Lily Silk, do please click the link down below and use the discount code to get yourself a discount from anything you're interested in. As I say, this obviously is new, but the cashmere jumper and the other blue silk top I have have been tried and tested. I have worn them a lot. I continue to wear them and I will continue to wear them. And I think that really is the proof is in the pudding and it's why I will continue to want to work with Lily Silk because I really, really rate their products. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me. Please take care and I will see you again the next one.